Hello and thank you for joining us on Airy TV. This is English News Broadcast live from the headquarters in Asmara at exactly 10.30 p.m. First, the top stars. Village health representatives contributing in Mendefera Sabzon. Student Cultural and Sports Week in Baran Tusatso. Iran declares readiness to expand military drills with China. North Korea warns of serious danger over U.S. South Korea deterrence deal. Nurse Isa Gabraverhan, head of health facilities in Mandafara Subzone, reported that the village health representatives in the subzone are playing an exemplary role in the effort to control the prevalence of malaria. Indicating that malaria disease is one of the diseases frequenting in the subzone, Nurse Isa said that 76% of the effort carried out to monitor and treat the disease has been conducted through the barefoot doctors. Pointing out that there are 61 active barefoot doctors engaged in the effort to eradicate malaria prevalence, Nurse Isa said that as a result of the strong effort on the part of the health practitioners, coupled with the, subs with the sustainable awareness raising activities, the prevalence of the disease has significantly been reduced. Nurse Isa also called on the public to follow the the advice being provided by the health practitioners conducting regular environmental sanitation activities as well as proper use of impregnated bed nets. Noting that communicable diseases could be eradicated with the integrated effort on the part of the health personnel, the public as well as stakeholders Mr. Hizk Aswubet, administrator of the subzone, commented that barefoot doctors are demonstrating in the effort. Students' Cultural and Sports Week has been enthusiastically conducted in Baran to Sabzon on 24th and 25th April. The Cultural and Sports Week in which 500 elementary, junior and high school students, including 230 female students, took part, included schools' villages as well as sports general knowledge, literature, innovation and painting competitions. According to Mr. Dawit Kalala, head of education office in the subzone, the objective of the Cultural and Sports Week was to enable students identify their talents as well as to share experience among each other. Mr. Dawit also said that through the Cultural and Sports Week, talented sports persons could be produced that eventually could represent their region and country in major sport competitions. At the conclusion event of the Cultural and Sports Week, awards have been handed over to winners of the various competitions. We are live on Air TV. Stay tuned for international news. Iran declares readiness to expand military drills with China. Iran's Defense Minister, Brigadier General Mohammad Raza Ashtiani, has expressed Tehran's readiness to expand joint military drills with China as part of a bid to further development bilateral strategic and counter the West's persisting unilateralism. Underlining that the United States is currently engaged in the, foreign thing, in the fomenting crisis and tensions in Eastern Europe and West Asia, Ashtiani insisted during today's meeting with his Chinese counterpart, Li Shangfu, on the sidelines of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization in India's capital of New Delhi that American policies are a common threat to Iran and China and that they are against a unipolar world. Stressing that the Shanghai Cooperation Organization has turned into an influential organization in global developments, Ashtiani said the expansion and consolidation of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization is an effort, is an effective step towards promoting multilateralism in the international arena. The Iranian defense chief further pointed the significant change in the regional and international issues and added that the two countries have invariably collaborated to thwart the implementation of unilateralist and totalitarian approaches. 
pursued by the West in independent countries. Lee, for his part, underscored existing ties and interactions between the Iran and China with respect to the political will of the two countries' leaders in the midst of critical global development and the significance of further expanding bilateral military defense cooperation. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's powerful sister has warned that a recent U.S.-South Korean deal will lead to a more serious danger. Kim Yo-jong said North Korea's nuclear deterrent should be brought to further perfection, state media reported. The U.S. agreed to deploy nuclear armed submarines to South Korea and involve Seoul in its nuclear planning to counter nuclear threats from the north. In return, South Korea agreed not to develop its own nuclear weapons. The deal, known as the Washington Declaration, was announced this week during President Joe Biden's talk with his South Korean counterpart, Yoon suk yeol in the American capital. She warned that the move would only result in the making peace and security of Northeast Asia and the world be exposed to be more serious danger. Ms. Kim holds a senior position in the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea and is reported to have influence on her brother. President Biden held the deal saying it would strengthen the Allies' cooperation in deterring a North Korean attack. President Yoon said the agreement marked an unprecedented commitment by the U.S. to deter, attack and protect Allies by using nuclear weapons. And now we have a quick review of the top stars. Village Health Representatives Contributing in Mandafara Sabza. Student Cultural and Sports Week in Barantu Sabza. Iran declares readiness to expand military drills with China. North Korea warns of serious danger over U.S.-South Korea deterrence deal. It was me, Salim Burhana, with the news for tonight. Thank you for being with us. Have a good night.